talk about moderation and balance. So I am horrible with moderation. I always have been and I've struggled my whole life with it. So if I'm at the gym and I'm only going to do six reps, seven's only one more, eight's an even number, 10's only two away, and 12 is six times two. And then I'm on the ground gagging and choking because I can hardly breathe. And that's the way I've lived my life. When it came to anything, I read a box nowadays and it says, turn the oven on to 375. I turn it on to 400, 425. Um, whenever I'm chewing gum, there's never just one piece. It's always three there's it goes on and on this is not a control thing what this is is my thought process I struggle with ADHD and my thought process is that if I can do it faster by turning up the heat more or do it longer then everything's gonna be better if I look at a pill bottle and it's a natural organic supplement or something and it says take one I usually take three because I'm thinking well that's gonna get make me get to where I want to be faster right horrible way to live your life and you need to grab a hold of it when you see yourself doing that it's funny my I want to tell a story my grandfather grandpa Joe used to drink he was a workaholic, he loved to work, and he used to drink tea on break out of a saucer instead of a cup because it would cool faster, and then he could get back to work faster, right? So for me, the moderation thing has a lot to do with my ADHD. ADHD, I've tried to be medicated for, and it doesn't work for me because you need stimulants um, and stimulants I just I, I don't like I tried the cocaine thing didn't work for me I try ephedrine at the gym I don't even do pre-workout drinks that have stimulants in them because I find it increases my anxiety so that's not for me that does not mean that it's not for you and there's this is no way a clinical uh recommendation so moderation I've always struggled with and I saw myself go through my life but I learned tools now Mary Grace spoke last week in a Huga tribe and she kept mentioning tools and I absolutely love this thank you for that Mary Grace so I was able to learn Definitely not from a young age. I, I suffered my first anxiety attack at, say, 26. It was work-related. It was, no, I would have been around 28, 29. It was work-related because I was overworking and taking on way too much in my life. My wife at the time had to take me to the hospital that night. So... The doctor gave me pills and I was like, he first the hospital told me I had an anxiety attack or panic attack. And I was like, what are you talking about? That's impossible. I'm 26, 28. And, you know, I don't suffer with anxiety or whatever. So, uh, but that's where it started, my anxiety. And it got worse. But he gave me a pill and I was like, three weeks later, feeling better. Kevin doesn't take pills. Way the pills go. I wasn't big on pills at the time. So what that did for me, though, was I just got to delete a call. There we go. So what that did for me was it gave me a tool to recognize that I had anxiety. And I didn't at the time spend a huge amount of time wondering or reading up on anxiety, but it planted a seed and I did spend a small amount of time from that point forward looking into and learning about anxiety. And a lot of the anxiety was created because of 
the ADHD. My mind goes 100 miles an hour in circles. So, and I, I have way too many things on my mind. I used to be able to dial into a conversation here and still hear the other conversations going on around me. And it was crazy. One thing that was good whenever I took the medication for it, stimulants didn't work for me, but I did take it for a little time. It became a tunnel vision and I was able to pick what I wanted to deal with or focus on at the time. It was pretty cool. Um, I've since learned other, other ways to cope with ADHD and to get past it. And that's all based on tools and going within myself. So how was I able to do it? So I, I suffered really bad so at 28 i have a major anxiety attack it doesn't fizz me hardly it plants a seed at like i think it was 30 six, 6 37 38 i started having like anxiety anxiety really bad panic attacks um you know at the end i could barely walk to the vehicle without taking not one out of van but three or four from my house to the vehicle. And because three or four, because I do nothing in moderation, right? By this point, I'm on a regular medication for anxiety and I'm coping with alcohol, which is the worst. When I got rid of alcohol, my anxiety levels dropped. I didn't experience panic attacks anymore. Not immediately, shortly after. I learned a lot of tools from Alcoholics Anonymous and I'm proud to say that I was a member or still continue to be a member, just not as active um, anymore. So it's all about balance, right? But your moderation, you want to fix your moderation. You need to learn to balance in your life. Mind, body and soul is what I've learned. And the calmest I've ever been in my life and the most inner peace I've ever had was when I focused on meditating morning and night it was amazing i did it for probably a year and a bit and i've gotten out of it i need to get back in it because a lot of things going on in the world right now have me somewhat agitated and frustrated i'm seeing myself go okay don't send that message don't post that on the internet i find it i uh, i take on stuff that I maybe shouldn't right now. I need to, for me, only for me, I need to separate myself and not mix myself in the chaos because it will take over for me. Um, so I need to be very aware and I need to acknowledge what's happening when it comes to, I'm going to part, I'm, I'm hyper-focused on something and it's bringing me away from where I am most at peace within myself. And that's the balance that we need. You hear about people talk about being in harmony and stuff like that. So, you know, the ways that I achieved it was meditation, prayer. When I'm in the sauna, I pray. You know, I don't pray to specific God, let's say, or whatever, but I do pray to a higher creator um what else did i do i learned to stop and breathe and take a few minutes slow myself down so instead of doing ending up doing 12 at the gym it took me years to figure this out because i would say i was gonna do six end up doing 12 i'd have a almost an asthma attack or something and I'd see, I'd go back like a month later, I'd continue going, but I would, I would be right back where I left off a month later. So I needed to pull the reins back. I needed to tell myself, listen, you, this is not you. It creates anxiety within you. And if you want to be at peace with yourself, you want to be the best version of yourself, you need to back off recognize continue in the direction that's not going to have any chaos within you and i i still battle it no doubt about it i still continue to have 
chaos, but it is so much smaller than I had years ago. And I hope you all are doing well. I hope that what's going on in the world, that you're all able to uh, navigate and figure out what's best for you. Don't hyper-focus on something. We need to, you know, stay, stay healthy, stay energized, and at, at a higher level, you need to, we just need to continue to live our lives and be happy and be close with those that we love, spread love. The best thing right now is, is spreading more and more love. And I wish you all a great day and